perhaps you might capture, if only for one magic moment, that thrilling instant when the surfboard makes you part human, part bird, part fish. All the streets in Venice are narrow, and ours is no exception. This is our house and home for the next three days. Come on in, I'll show you around. So again, we rented an apartment rather than a hotel because there's four of us and we needed all the extra space. Upstairs, there's uh, two bedrooms and a bathroom. We'll see that in a sec, but have a look at the living room. The kitchen's really well appointed. In fact, if you come over here, I'll show you we can tell we're in Italy because there's an actual button for pizza. You don't, you don't see that too often, or at least you don't see that too often in North America. The best part of this um, house is through that door over there or through this window. It's a great space. Uh, lots of room to dine out, which we have done. Um, the landlord was even kind enough to put some rosemary over there and some basil over there, and uh, it's been wonderful out here. Let's go inside. All right, so um, I'll take you upstairs to show you a couple of bedrooms and the bathroom, but before we do that, so when I'm in France, I get a haircut. When I'm in Italy, new pair of shoes. Oh, wait up, the lace is undone. Watch this, these are very fancy laces. This could take a while. There we go. New shoes in Italy, haircut in France. Let's go upstairs and see the two bedrooms and bathroom. First bedroom. Say hi, Erica. Well, actually, just say hi, don't say hi, Erica. And then down here is the master suite. The bathroom. Venice is expensive for accommodations and hotels are quite expensive. This two bedroom, one bathroom, one powder room full with the outdoor space was about $300 a night. Great value. 